Carlo tonight and we're talking about education. There's a lot of very good courses down the region and like I mean if I had an opportunity again I wouldn't mind have gone to the region but it's just circumstances took me elsewhere. But John, I mean, there's no way if you talk to a lot of people from Carlo who are in the region and they're fed up of it there's a depression over Carlo at a certain time and I mean there's a lot of people from Carlo itself who just hate being there mm, Well, that's and they prefer to get out of the town and go to Dublin or go to Cork or go to Galway wherever it is to study, get away from the situation in Carlo. Well, I can understand that because it's the same thing with me in Dublin. The Dubliners don't like being in Belfield because it's only a, an extension of second level, like to come in and to yeah. go home in the evening. But it's like everything else, it's what you make it. You know, if you're going to sit around, you can sit around in Belfield, you can sit around in Carlo and mope around and talk about all your problems, really. But, like, I mean, really, we're very privileged and very lucky to be, to be able to go somewhere. I like, don't, yeah. I don't really agree. I'm from Carlo, like, and I'm in the college, and uh, like, in the regional? Uh, yeah, I'm in the regional. And you find first, like, that not enough people are from Carlow are going to the regional. They don't really appreciate uh, the college. They think, oh, no, it's in our own hometown. Mm. You know, I just want to get away. But you find when you, when you go to the college, the regional, uh, it's, you're meeting totally different people. You're meeting people who come down from Dublin to go to Carlow. You're meeting people from Donegal, from Cork, from Galway. And it's a totally different atmosphere that you can spend your whole week in the college with your college friends and do totally different things that you would do at the weekend with your Carlow friends. Mm -hmm. It's just in the last couple of years we noticed that more and more car people are taking advantage of the fact that the college is there. And like when I started in first year, there's very few Carlow people. You just notice by walking down the corridor, because it is a relatively... You know them. Yeah, yeah, it's a relatively small college, and that's an advantage because you get to know people. It's a real family atmosphere. You know, you walk into the canteen, and by the end of your first year, you feel at home and you've got to know so many people. When you go to university or to NIHEs, you find that it's very isolated, and you don't go out to drink in the same pubs, and you don't meet people from the other departments. The regional suits some people as regards the courses. Some people have to go away. Yeah. Who True. might like to stay here but don't have the alternative. That's right, because Just, you don't have a university. It's only in the last few years that the regional, as far as I know, have started to broaden their courses more and give um, to the conferred degrees now. Yes. 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 They didn't do that Debbie, a few years ago. Debbie, Debbie wanted to say. Uh, sure. Debbie, in front. Yeah. Um, out of 150 uh, computer students in the college, first and second years, there are only two from Carlo. Uh, there are 148 students in computer studies doing um, from all over the country. They can do better and fewer courses somewhere else that are much more viable. Like uh, on the fact of the ESF you grants. Mean, you mean better? They, grant, can, do they better. can get actually more money by going to Waterford because they're outside the 50 mile limit. They can you know, get more money. What would be great, because I didn't understand a lot of this before I started talking to you in the regional. What exactly is the grant that you get in you the get regional? Outside uh, 50 miles of Carlow. You get 34 pounds, 32 a week. That's if you have full attendance. If you miss a half day, uh, you're docked more money from your grant. And uh, if you're inside within 15 miles, you get something like 54 pounds. A month. A month. Oh, I see. I was thinking that it works out to be uh, 13 pounds 52 a week. That's what I'm on at the moment. 13 pounds 52 a week. A week, yeah. So it's uh, not even enough to cover ex uh, book expenses. And if you've got got to buy computer discs, which are three quid each. You know, 10 is 26 quid, that's two weeks grant money gone. You should just home, like, when you get 15, 13 pound a week, like, and why can't you go to Waterford and get 34 pound a week, like, well, same story. And also get the different education. Sorry, Mary. If you're living in Waterford and if you're from Carlo, that means you'll have flat expenses and you'll have food expenses and you'll have loads more expenses than you will if you are living at home and going to college here in Carlo. But because I've lived away from home now, I, I don't think I would like to be back at home and maybe coming over to the regional every day. And you said something, Vidalma, about um, the difference between uh, the regional and colleges in Dublin. You did mention the NIHEs about, you know, you're much more isolated and there isn't the same atmosphere. Well, maybe in relation to UCD or Trinity, that is true. But, um, well, the NIHE out in Glasnevin is relatively small as well. I don't know what, it, yeah. in comparison with the regional, I'm not sure. But um, it's a very, you know everybody after, you, you know a lot of people after your first year. You know most people in the college to recognise and if you see them in town you can nod at them or whatever.